I'm Jane, and I'm going to show you how to solve equations with the brackets. I'm so excited. So, when solving equations with brackets, we use the distributive rule. This is a rule when you multiply the number outside the brackets with the numbers inside the brackets. So, in this case, we would do 4 times 3 plus 4 times x. And on the other side of the equal sign, 5 times 3 minus 5 times x. So, we do 4 times 3 equals 12, plus 4 times x equals 4x, equals 5 times 3 equals 15, minus 5 times x equals 5x. So, now we have to collect like terms. Collecting like terms is when you move all the x's to one side and all the normal numbers to the other side. When a number moves to a different side, the minus or plus in front of it changes to the opposite, such as the negative 5x would turn into a positive 5x on the other side. So what we do is this. 4x plus 5x equals 15 minus 12. So now it's just simple addition and subtraction. So we do 4x plus 5x equals 9x equals 15 minus 12 equals 3. So now we divide 9x by 9 and 3 by 9 to isolate the variable. So now we know that x equals 1 third. Now you know how to solve equations with brackets. Hi, I'm Bob and we're going to be sol <clears throat> solving this equation. So first we use the distributive rule. So 2x, 2 times x, minus 2 times 6. And then uh, plus 36. And so the arrows are showing how we're gathering the distributive rule. So now we're doing 3 times x minus uh, plus 3 uh, minus 3 times 3, negative 3. And then, so that's 2x minus 12 plus, sorry, that's leggy, 36. On the other side of the equal sign, that would be 3x plus, because when you multiply, no, minus 9. Because multiplying a negative with positive gives you a negative. So then now we're going to be gathering like terms. And so we're going we're gonna to put all the constants on one side of the equal sign and all the unknowns or the x's on the other side of the equal sign. So that means negative 12 plus 36. And then we're going to make it plus 9 because when it, you switch sides, when you move something from one side of the equal side to the other, its sign has to change. So that's 3x minus 2x. Again, so now we're going, so now we have the down here, that's x equals 3, 33. And we're done. Hi all, I'm Shoniqua, and I'm going to teach y'all how to solve them equations with them brackets. So, the equation here is 9 bracket 7 plus 9 plus x minus 4 bracket minus 5 and in brackets 3 squared equals 12 minus 12 and in brackets 3 minus x. So, just like Jane showed y'all, we got to use the distributive rule. So we must do 9 times 7 plus 9 times 9 plus 9 times x minus 9 times 4. And then on the other side of the equal sign, we have to do 12 times 3, negative 12 times 3, times negative 12 times negative x. So, this is equal to 63 plus 
81 plus 9x minus 36. I can. Minus 5. And then we solve the 3 squared. And we put in 9. Because 3 squared is like 3 times 3. And that is 9. On the other side of the equal sign, it is 12. Minus 36. Plus 12x. Equals sixty three plus eighty one plus nine X minus thirty six minus forty five because five times nine is forty five. On the other side of the equal sign, it is 12 minus 36 plus 12x. So now we have to move all the constant numbers to one side and all the variables to the other side, just like Jane showed y'all. So, we have to do 63 plus 81 minus 36 minus 45 minus 12 plus 36 because remember the sign changes when we bring it over the equal sign equals 12 X minus 9 X now it's just simple addition and subtraction so 63 plus 81 minus 36 minus 45 minus 12 plus 36 equals 87 and 12 X minus 9 X equals 3 X so now we have to divide both sides by 3 in order to isolate the variable so 87 divided by 3 equals 3 X divided by 3 so 87 divided by 3 equals 29 and X 3 X divided by 3 is X so 29 equals X I'm Shonequa, and that's how you do equations with brackets. Thank you.